Hello, this is Mr. Chabry, and you know what? I think um, it might be worth going and trying some Pokemon that I find over here on the QR code thing. So this team has Mega Gardevoir with Psy Shock, Hyper Voice, Trick Room, Protect, um, Incineroar, Flare Blitz, Darkest Lariat, Fake Out, Protect. It's holding the Incinium Z um, with the Intimidate ability. Landorus with Earthquake, Rock Tomb, Superpower U-Turn, the Assault Vest. Um, Amoongus, Clear Smog, Spore, Rage Power, Protect, Regenerator, the Rocky Helmet. Um, Tapu Fini with Muddy Water, Moonblast, Calm Mind, Protect, holding a Mago Berry. And Celesteela with Acrobatics, Wide Guard, Leech Seed, Protect, holding a Misty Seed. So, um, that's basically the team we're going to try out. I wanted to decide, I decided, you know, to do more of these maybe, um, for the VGC stuff, since, you know, there's quite a few people already doing VGC um, style stuff. I don't know these, um, like, you know, the spreads on these as of yet, but I'm pretty sure that I could figure it out. So we're going to leave Gardevoir with Amoongus. I think we should have, let's see, I think that's nice. Um, I'd like to also bring Incineroar and Lando. I don't want to bring Tapu Fini or Celesteela. I think I'll bring Lando because Tapu Coco is over there. Tapu Coco is always a threat. If you're not careful, Tapu Coco will Tapu its way into a victory. So, yeah, I think um, I'm going to try this out. I mean, this is technically someone else's team that they put together, but it might give us some ideas of what Pokemon would work really nice together. Um... Landorus and Incineroar, so I'm expecting maybe. And it also give us a lot more um, practice with the time limit. All right, we're going to get the Intimidate and Intimidate these two physical attackers. Um, I do think that Lando might actually try to go for Earthquake. It's a possibility. Um, it's a possibility actually look at this um, I'm going to go ahead and mega evolve in trick room and go for a rage powder I think I think it's worth trying that um, I don't really do much with trick room teams however so don't be surprised if things look kind of you know, not as not as well as it would if I had a lot more practice with, you know, Trick Room Setters. Of course, the thing's going to U-turn. is probably aiming at Gardevoir, but we go ahead um, with the Rage Powder, make it face down Amoongus. Amoongus can take that. Amoongus is a very nice Pokemon. Alright, Ferrothorn comes in. And this thing's still a threat, especially... Um, especially now that we're going to have Trick Room up. Uh, I think Amoongus. Yeah, Amoongus takes that. Alright, so we got the Trick Room up. So, what do I want to do? I think Ferrothorn might actually try to Gyro Ball if, um, the Gardevoir slot. So, I think I'll go into Incineroar. And I think I'll spore the opponent's Incineroar. I think that'll be worth it. Um, I do think Ferrothorn's going to try to go after Gardevoir. However, that's the reason why I'm swapping and keeping Amoongus in. That's the main reasoning there. Um, Power Ball onto... Yeah, the Gardevoir slot. Nice, all right. That means we're going to put this kitty cat to sleep, nighty night. And now I think we're in a pretty good position. Um, I can go ahead and flare blitz the opponents. Um, Ferrothorn, if I wanted. We know there's Landorus on the other side, but the fourth Pokemon could be something like Tapu Koko, maybe. I don't know. I have no idea.
I could. Part of me thinks my opponent might try to save the Ferrothorn. I might just go for delicious moon salts. Actually, okay. I'm just going to flare blitz the Ferrothorn slot. Might just rage powder. I did not hit that in time, so. Right, Landorus, of course. I probably should have just malicious moonsault then. Yeah, that's what I should have done. Just malicious moonsault. Right, clear smog. Ran out of time. I think that's actually going to hurt us. That's going to actually hurt us. Hurt us there. Okay. Keep that in mind. Don't let the timer run out or you're going to do a move that's going to be horrible. Like that. Alright, so we're going to get some damage on that Lando. Still have Trick Room up, though. Alright, we have our own Lando on the field, so it's now a mirror match. This is now a mirror match. Both of our Pokemon are going to be intimidated. Going to protect with my Incineroar and just go for an Earthquake. Would it be worth? When does hold on, when does Trick Room end? Two more turns. Okay, so after this we should outspeed. I'm going to just Earthquake. My opponent swaps um out. I mean, unless my opponent has Cresselia coming in on the Incineroar slot. Epicoco. Okay, so this is actually perfect for me. This is actually perfect. Alright, so I'm going to protect with my Incineroar and just Earthquake. And that'd be pretty nice. We're going to get rid of this Tapicoco. Unless it's sashed, then it could be a pretty big problem, you know? Alright, so the whole ground's going to shake. And Tapicoco is going to go down to that, so Tapu Koko is not surviving an Earthquake. Um, I'll superpower on to the Incineroar! So we still have another turn of, you know, Trick Room. What would be nice to keep? I might swap Darkest Lariat, the Lando, and swap into Gardevoir. I think I'm going to, you know, come back in with another Intimidate with my Lando. Alright, Superpower onto Tenoror. That's unfortunate. Yeah, there's not much I could do about that. Not much I could do about that. Twisted Dimensions have to return to normal. Um, hopefully, hopefully this Intimidate will help us out. That's what I'm hoping for right now. We got the Intimidate. It's going to be nice. That's going to be nice. So now, oh, okay, let me check your stats. Lando is at minus three. And Aurora's at minus one. I could easily Rock Tomb or Earthquake. I think I'll just Earthquake and protect the Gardevoir. I think that's what I'll do. Um, that way I can take out Incineroar, and then Lando's going to be a lot easier to take out. If I can get rid of Landorus, it's going to be pretty nice. I can get rid of my opponent's Landris. That's going to be pretty nice. But yeah, make sure you don't run out of time on that clock. Because you might end up, you know, going for a move that you do not want. 
Mm. Ferrothorn is going to come in. It's going to eat an earthquake. Let's hope, hope that we outspeed. That's what I'm hoping for. All right, so my opponent's incineroar is gone now. All right, so but now my opponent has a Ferrothorn and a Landorus. Makes it a little bit harder. Just makes it a little bit harder. What can I even do to my opponent's Landorus? I could go Rock Two, maybe. I think that's honestly it. I'm gonna superpower that Ferrothorn. Hyper Voice. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Hyper Voice. Alright, Rock Slide, please tell me we don't flinch. No flinches, please. If we flinch, we lose. If we flinch, we lose. Alright. All right, come on, Gardevoir. It's up to you. This is up to you. Gardevoir? All right. I don't know if we take... I don't think we take out Ferrothorn from this, but we will take Lando. Whew, look at that. Ferrothorn with one HP. That means Ferrothorn's going down next turn no matter what. All right, Jaro Ball, that doesn't matter to me. Sorry, Gardevoir, but you did your job. That means we're going to get this victory. So this team's working out pretty nicely so far. All I'll have to do is rock tune. I'm just an earthquake. Um because I don't want to miss. And there's been times where I miss. So we're just going to earthquake. That is like one HP. We have got this victory. Nice. Alright, so it feels good. This is actually a pretty good team we're using. Um I would have to look at the spread. I think that that's where it's going to... That's where we're going to actually see what's what. But this has got some Pokemon I've been really wanting to try out, like the Incineroar. Really been wanting to try out Incineroar. I think this is actually a pretty good Incineroar team. Um, I'd also like to try a team with... Um, Braviary? Because I've been wanting to try out Braviary. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm like pulling up the search thing over on the side. I mean, I could do one more with this team. I think I'll find a Braviary, though. I will find a Braviary. Just a roll. Gosh. Um, Braviary. There it is. I want the ability to be defiant. I really like that. All right. Um, but we'll try another battle with this team. See how it goes. I mean, I, I, I think it's probably a better idea to, you know, do these BGC style competition prep this way. Um, because you can actually get some more ideas of stuff. Um, looking at this, there's not that many teams that look really great with a Braviary. Because I've searched with the wrong thing. You hit doubles. Alright, this is actually a pretty decent looking team. This is a pretty decent looking team. Um... Um, I might try one of these teams that I'm looking at. I would really... Okay, so this one... We can get this bat... Get a battle going. Um... There's a team over here. <clears throat> I like this team. 
Hey, so I'm thinking we probably won't find a trainer on this one. Not, I can just, um... Switch teams, I guess. No opposing trainer was found. Okay. Go ahead and try out this team. the QR code all right so let's try this team out all right all right so this team has mega King is gone with ice punch low kick double edge fake out Cresselia with the Aguave Berry with the moves Ice Beam, Trick Room, Ally Switch, Helping Hand, Epifini with Protect, Muddy Water, Moonblast, Calm Mind, the Ayapa Berry, um, Braviary with the Misty Seed, it knows Brave Bird, Tailwind, Protect, Return, um, Cartana with the Leaf Blade, Detect, Sacred Sword, Tailwind, it's got the Flyneum Z, so it goes for Z Tailwind, Drapion with Cross Poison, Night Slash, Protect, and Acupuncture, um, Normalium Z, it goes with the acupuncture, which I'm not sure entirely what those do. Let me. So it gets a crit boost. Better chance for crits. That makes sense. Try this team out. I mean, this team looks pretty nice. Um, it's got another Pokemon I've been trying, wanting to try out more. Um, Braviary. So we're gonna try this out. And if it starts doing pretty nice, I think it might. We might get some ideas off of it. Rapion has the ability Sniper, too, so that's going to be pretty good with, uh, you know, the crit boost. I think it might be worth trying Drapion out. You know, Drapion's actually pretty good looking at this on paper. It looks pretty nice. And we just have to wait for an opponent. Waiting for an opponent. Waiting for an opponent. I've been really wanting to try some of these Pokemon. All right, here we go. Finally, um, that was been harder to find battles. All right, Alola Mola, um, Tepukokos, Mega Salamence. I'm sure it's a Mega Salamence. Aranatar. Um, we have the. Thunderous and okay, so this is a sandstorm team. It is totally a sandstorm. With that in mind, um might actually lead Cresselia. There's a lot of fast threats on my opponent's team, so I'm going to go Cresselia, Kingus Khan. Um I think Drapion might be worth bringing. Let me see. There's one Intimidator. But that Intimidator is a mega also, so I think it might be worth there's Two electric types. Epiphany might not be the best thing. Or maybe it would because there was also a rock and ground type. Um, I'll go with Cartana instead, though. Go Cartana. And. I try. I'll go Tapu Fiend. Uh, because there's no real reason to bring Braviary without Tapu Fini, um, because it does have Misty Seed, and our, I've already brought Cartana. There's no reason to bring Durapion since it's got a Z Crystal. I don't want to bring two Pokemon with Z Crystals. I'm going to bring Kangaskhan. Set up a Trick Room. That's mainly what I'm going to do. That way, that. Thunderous is a problem. That way my opponent doesn't outspeed everything. Who do I need to fake out? Brick Room. Let's Mega Evolve. Fake out. 
feel like I need to fake out Thunderous, maybe? Tyranitar is going to hit Cresselia pretty hard. But I feel like Thunderous is the bigger threat because it's Thunderous do in its incarnate form. Got Volt Absorb, I do believe. I don't like beyond that, I'm not sure. Um Go ahead and fake out Tyranitar, I think. Because it is a dark type. And, you know, it's going to do a lot to Cresselia if I don't take it out. Or at least do a lot of damage to it. That's what we'll do. So what does Thunderous want to do? It's going to Focus Blast. Can we take one of those? Yes, we can. Nice. Get a special defense drop, though. But... I mean, Tyranitar is the fastest thing on the field, unfortunately. Um, what do I want to do? I might go for an ally switch. No, because Tyranitar is going to be faster. Um, just Ice Beam. Thunderous Slot. Bring in Tapu Fini. On the um, Kangaskhan slot. So that takes care of if um, anything wants to go for a fighting move. If Thunderous goes for an electric move, that's going to hurt pretty badly, though. We're going to get that Misty Surge up. Alright, so, okay, Thunderous is going to be swapped out for Excadrill. Alright, so we're going to Ice Beam that thing. Oh, I don't care about your Tyranitar right now. We got the Trick Room, so that's going to be pretty nice. Barely anything. So... I'm going to go for a Helping Hand. A Muddy Water. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Helping Hand and Muddy Water. I could go for Calm Mind, but I don't know, because there's two physical attackers on the field, and... Okay, so you're going to be pretty fast. You're probably going to go after Cresselia, since that is a Dark-type Z-move right there. I would assume so. Yeah, okay. Can Cresselia take that? Nope. But we got the helping hand already. So you're going to take a muddy water. Nice. All right, so we're going to hit these two pretty hard. Um, i to make a guess Tyranitar is probably going to live. Excadrill doesn't, but it does a lot of nice damage to Tyranitar. That means I can come in and fake out. I can come in and fake out. That's just what I'm going to do, fake out. I want to fake out Tyranitar because right now it's the fastest thing on the field. Um, Tapu Coco is going to come in. It's the slowest thing on the field because we're in Trick Room. So. I don't need to go after it at all. Um, how many more turns of Trick Room? Two more turns. Um, take out the guitar. A nice muddy water. Alright, so you're going to protect. So let's hope we can, you know, drop this thing's accuracy. That's still a potential thing we could do here. We do. Okay. Arch. Um, it's gonna hit us pretty hard. Wow. That was a crit. That's why I did so much. I think we would have lived if it wasn't a crit. Oh my gosh. There we go. We've lost this one. We've lost this one in one fatal swoop. Doesn't matter what we do now. We've lost. We've lost. I think I'm gonna have to play pretty hard. Let's see, how many more turns of trickery? 
This is our last turn. Um... I feel like I need to detect, maybe? Oh. I'm just going to Leaf Blade Coco, because right now we should be faster than Tapu Coco in the Trick Room. Um, I don't think there's much Tyranitar can actually do to us. So that's why I'm going to do that right there. Get a beast boost. Well, we are attack. Sandstorm has subsided. Twisted dimensions have turned to normal. Still lose. Still lose. There's nothing you can do against this thunderous. Leaf blades all I've got, and it's. Not We've lost this one. That critical hit cost us the game. I don't care if you're going for protect. It doesn't matter. We've lost. We have lost. So, yeah. Well, we'll try this team one more time, I think. But yeah, that crit really hurt us there. I do believe... I do believe that we would have probably had a better chance of winning if it wasn't for the crit. But, yeah, it's Pokemon. Alright, let's go and try this team one more time. Let's hope we find a, an opponent faster. Yeah, so I think maybe the crit mattered. I think so. Um, I mean, I could you know, calc it. Look at this. Dragonite! I love Dragonite. This person's got a Dragonite. Um, this person's got a lot of faster Pokemon, too. So I think... I don't see any Intimidate users. Braviary still looks pretty nice against two of these. Could go Tapu Fini Braviary. And then. I might lead Tapu Fini just to keep the electric terrain off the field. Um, I don't want to lead Braviary though. I'll actually lead Drapion. Let's see what Drapion can do. Actually, no, Tapu Fini. Tapu Fini's weak to. Three of these pretty badly. Um, so we're not going to do that. But I will bring Tapu Fini in. I feel like Cresselia would be pretty nice. I will bring Cresselia too. So we can go for Trick Room. really want to use Braviary, but... Yeah, Braviary has a hard time against quite a few of these Pokemon. So we'll do this. Try this out. Kangaskhan, pretty nice. You know, Kangaskhan is one of those Pokemon good all around, I think. Mega King. Um, we're going to lead Drapion. Mega Kangaskhan. Aegislash and Tapu Coco. So. Um, I'm going to fake out Tapu Coco. I think. What is Drapion? Let me check out Drapion stats. First. Um. Yeah, it's got better defense. So, what I'm going to do is go for a D Acupuncture. And fake out Tapu Koko. Because I think Tapu Koko is a bigger threat to Drapion. I mean, it could be a special attacking Aegislash, 
But, but, I mean, most of, a lot of them are actually physical. Aegis Lashes. I mean, Aegis Lash is one of those Pokemon that's just got such great attack stat on both ends that you can have it either way. Same thing with its defenses, too. Aegis Lash is just very, very good. We're going to Mega Evolve. I think my opponent realized from that that I'm not going to fake out Aegis Slash. So let's hit this Tapo Coco as hard as we can. King Shield. I don't care about your King Shield. I do not care about that. Alright, we do quite a bit of damage, too. Alright, so let's test this Z Acupuncture set out. Um, we have the Sniper ability, too. Let's give us something like speed to special defense. I mean, best thing. I feel like I should protect this turn, though. I think my opponent's going to try to go after Drapion. And if I can get rid of Tapu Coco, that's going to be nice. And double edge the Coco. Going to double edge the Coco. I think my opponent's going to target down Drapion just because. He just saw me set up. That's what he saw me do. Set up right in his face. Be like, that thing's a threat. Aegis Slash is going to be swapped out. I don't care about Aegis Slash. Blaziken. Right, give me a nice... Oh! We got the special defense boost. On Drapion, so. Ah, it's gonna hurt, though. It's gonna hurt. No matter what, it's going to hurt. Oh, King is gone. We take one. Ah, we can't take one. That we take one. Yeah, well, we take it out, but we lose our King is gone here. Yeah. Um, my charging. Might we bring in Cresselia now? Yeah, I'll bring in Cresselia here. Um, slash. Hey. Okay, Aegis Slash. I'm not going to go after Aegis Slash because... Just because, no. I'm going to Cross Poison the Blaziken. And Trick Room. My Helping Hand. No Trick Room. I think Trick Room would be better. I seriously do think it would be better, because Blaziken's going to be setting up some speed if I'm not careful. I don't want that to happen. I do not want Blaziken to outspeed everything. So that's why I'm going to Trick Room here. That is a Mega Blaziken. I've been trying to try it out, but I don't really like Mega Blaziken that much. It's just... It doesn't have enough bulk to live hits. Oxide. Please, no flinch. Flinch. No flinch. Give us a crit. Nice. Alright. Nice, nice. We're back in this game. Alright, that's towards Cresselia. I'm not too worried about that. Cresselia can take those hits. A bulky Pokemon. Of course, we're going to get the special defense drop, but, ah, you know, we're probably going to go down next turn anyway. What else do you have? Zapdos? Hope oh, not. Whimsicott? I don't know. Dragonite, okay. Dragonite. I might Night Slash. He just Slash. I highly doubt my opponent's going to just 
you know, not go for King Shield. So I'm going to double into Dragonite here. I could go for a Helping Hand. Yeah, I'll go for a Helping Hand. I don't want to hit Dragonite with an Ice Beam just because it could have the Weakness Policy. That would make it a lot harder to hit. Alright, so I think... Yeah, King Shield. I called it. Yeah, I'm not going for you. Get that Dragonite. Extreme Speed. We should be able to take that alright. Night Slash. Alright, let's break through that multi-scale. Wow. Crit 2. Look at that. Multi-scale. Alright, so now a Night Slash onto Aegislash. And an Ice Beam onto the Dragonite slot. Another Extreme Speed. Cresselia, you're going after Drapion. I'm not too worried about that. Um, of course, this could actually take Drapion out. Shadow Ball. Ooh, onto Cresselia. Alright, I'm fine with that because your Aegislash will go down to a Night Slash. And then I can bring in my Tapu Fini. And Tapu Fini is ready to finish this game up. The electricity is gone. I mean, I don't have to worry about this thing going for like a thunder and now that there's not really electricity. I mean, Dragonite's more of a physical attacker, and since my opponent's going for extreme speed, it's very clear it's a physical attacking Dragonite. Um, I'm just going to Night Slash Dragonite and Moonblast Dragonite. Dragon moves are weakened in the terrain. The Misty Terrain, so I don't have to worry about that. I I still have Trick Room up, too. Mash was forfeited. So, nice! We got some victories there. Of course, the second battle, we got hit with a crit. But this battle, Drapion actually did surprisingly well. Um, Drapion's a Pokemon I have not seen in action that much. But seeing it in action now, that's pretty cool. Sniper with, you know, crit boosting acupuncture. Pretty nice. So I think we'll end this here. Um, if you like this, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. Tell me what you think about these kind of videos instead of the um, prep videos on Showdown. That's what I've been doing. Um, but I think for VGC battles, it would make sense to try some battles here too. Um, so if you like this, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. I will see you in the next Pokemon video.